I'm doing is I've taken this old tap fitting and I'm going to So we've got our base here, a bit of pottery work. I've never done any, I've bought myself a toolkit and a bit of air hardening modelling clay. So, what's the plan here? The plan here is to build a narrow cat. This will become my narrow cat. Potter's rib, this wonderful wooden tool creates uniform curves when wheel throwing. Well, I'm not going to be doing any wheel throwing immediately. Modeling tool. A large ribbon tool. To curve and shape with. The all important sponge. Not to mention the needle tool, the double loop tool. The tool has one curved loop and one flat loop to carve smaller areas of clay and a fettling knife. A metal scraper. This metal blade can be used to add finishing touches to pottery pieces. Or to slice thin strips of clay. Very useful gadget. Ah, the wire clay cutter. This wire is used to cut and push blocks of clay easily. Also, to remove finished pieces from the pottery wheel head. So there's my potter's toolkit. And here is the claim. It says to me, and I'll tell you that it's a pretty bloody rubbery. In fact, quite a bit. She's pretty solid. One of these bits of wood is cut earlier is coming in handy. Really, in my neck. Long, talky style neck. So I've just done a couple of sketches here from photographs. The only photographs we have is one of JB at Narogen, and he's, you can see this cat here in the background and then this other cat is another picture of the same cat and he's, he's at a bit of a height so when you look at it it looks like the cat is looking up to his master so that's the way I'm gonna make it sort of looking up a little bit my idea is to just wrap the old clay
now. I've decided that I'm going to have a tail like my number. And I like the shape of this tail, so I'm going to give that a bit of a go. So that's the plan. But my little marriage, heavy little marriage and cat is taking shape. Sort of. Let's try and bring the tail there. In segments. Just really the suggestion of a foot. So, we have our little Narragin cat basis. I'm about to do the tail and try and make his feet a little more conducive. the metal of the little frame holding it together. Shh, yeah, his tail and his mm, back foot is just a suggestion. Mm, and his feet of clay. Who knows what the outcome will be. This is a mistake or not, but the metal might expand and contract and break the clay. Probably a terrible idea, but I'm going to give it a go. Because it is a $10 exercise. She's not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Never know. I'll rub his chin. Well, actually, if you look close. Narragin cat. Surrounded by new friends.
So the Narogen Cat has been drying now for a couple of days and well he's turned out already. He's got the um, AB incised monogram and now to paint him in what colour I might go study some cats he's got spots but he's in the photos he's glazed but unfired so we can't tell what the colours are blue and white or green and white or I would like to make him green like a normal Watcom Howler or an Alabama weird one well here's another spotted one who's going to be his little brother the Midnight Soloist the winking cat so we've got one spotted cat Just roughly drawing the circles, the spots, as I might put a model on the side. Chase me. Chase me. Midnight song of snow is not howling. So I've got some black paint mixed up. I've decided to make him a black and white black cat. We could just leave the terracotta spots and varnish. Well, I've never used oil paints in my life until today. Until tonight. Now, a bit more. Let's see. Head strong enough to hang on to. He's dry and hard. That's bloody thick. I don't know if you can be able to see this, but um, I've been doing a little bit of work, a bit of detail into his mouth. He's slowly taking shape. I'm getting a bit of the black in between his teeth. In fact, all oh, into the back of his mouth too. And then if I come along and file it later, just file off the top of the teeth, it should look nice and white. In the process I am of painting him green instead of the black. He's gonna be a green Narogen cat. Okay, forget the spots, we're just going to paint him all over. Worked out well the tail. 
each little section is just a little chunk of clay I made separately and then put them on. Give a gay neck then. This is one of the mottos. And they sure do have weird long necks. Look at your grotesque looking old mongrel. Found enough F's to put it under a uh, bubble on top of the lid somehow. I can't get the estopole can open but there's been enough in here to start glossing over the beast. So I'm nearly, nearly done. Um, I just basically you know, mix a bit of this up bit of turps and thin a bit because it's so thick. And then 